Last up, we have Josh Jacobs. This Josh is Jacobs Jingleheimer Schmidt. Na 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 na. Josh Jacobs Jingleheimer Schmidt. His name is my name too. Oh right. Well, that went on for an extra bar, four bars that it didn't <laughs> need to. Um, man, I don't know what to do with Josh Jacobs. Like Kenyon Drake is there. I get it, and I don't like it, but. Let me just read you some Josh Jacobs stats, shall I? Josh Jacobs was third in carries with 273. He was eighth in rushing yards with 1,064. He was fourth in total touchdowns with 12. He was fourth in missed tackles with 84. 80 freaking four missed tackles. It's a lot. He was seventh in breakaway runs with nine. He was fifth in yards created by a running back with 446. Josh Jacobs was third in goal line carries. Guess how many goal line carries Josh Jacobs had? Uh, Let's go with 12. 16. (laughs) You were off by a third. He was second in red zone touches. Guess how many red zone touches the man had? He had 16 at the goal line. Let's go with 32. 65 red zone touches. Holy crap. Holy crap, Josh Jacobs. It's a lot. That is a metric shit ton, actually. Um, Scientific. Yes. You know us at the Sackos. Only the best. (laughs) But I'm just just saying, he had 65 red zone touches and finished with 12 total touchdowns. Like that number could have been higher. 12 touchdowns is nothing to sneeze at. Oh, absolutely I, not. I he point. was fourth. I'm just saying it could have been higher. If he, if he was scoring at the same percentage that Aaron Jones did a couple of years ago, that number would have been like 25. 30, I was going to say 37. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Josh Jacobs was wide or sorry, was running back eight last year. That, that's where he finished. And he's currently going running back 19. Um, oh, baby. So what's the disconnect? I'm, I guess I'm not sure why. Like, I, I know that Kenyon Drake's there. Kenyon that's Drake uh, finished running back 14 last year. I mean, is there not a, is there not a world where they can kind of coexist and still be you know, almost like a chub and um, oh, oh, whose name am I blanking on right now? Kareem Hunt uh, for the Browns. Is, is there not a world where you think you know, that they they're like of, the Walmart version of that? Uh, they're like the I, off brand Kareem Hunt I get, and Nick I Chubb. I guess. Yeah, they're like tissues instead of Kleenex. Exactly. So if you yeah. can afford that good, good, you go get you some Nick Chubb. If you can't afford that, yeah, well, go go get the cotton swabs instead of uh, Q-tips. <laughs> go get go get go get you some Josh Jacobs. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. I mean, that's it, right? That's it. Um, and it should it, be noted that Josh Jacobs finished in, ahead of Nick Chubb last year. Yeah. It it that is actually worth noticing. No, noticing. Yes. Um. I don't know. I it just. It's Kenyon Drake. It's the Kenyon Drake effect. It's he had a couple Drake, of good seasons. Drake effect snow. Uh. It's he had a couple of good seasons, but like to discount him to running back 19. That's offensive. That's a little far. I think that's a bit much. I still think he's a mid to high end running back too. I don't know. I wouldn't put him outside of my I don't know. How far how far would you because in our mock draft he went at the end of the third. Would you take him over Chris Carson? Would you take him over DeAndre Swift? Would you take him over Montgomery? I know that answer is a no. Yeah. Um, here's the thing. I, I guess I, I don't know. I, I think he's going in about the right spot as far as where I personally would take him. Yeah, I would be excited to get him at the end of round three, but it's hard to justify him going earlier than that yeah. um, because of the Kenyon Drake effect, right? But let's just think about Kenyon Drake here for a second. So last year, he had 955 yards, 10 rushing touchdowns. Like That's really good. You know, 
That, yeah. That's just, he's not going to go away. Before that, his best season was the year before where he had 817 total yards. Uh, 640 of those and eight touchdowns were in eight games for Arizona. So he was really good once he went to Arizona. But before that, he didn't really do jack for Miami. He's now 27. And he's like, are they going to be in a timeshare? That, that's why you can't put Josh Jacobs higher than that because you don't know what that offense is going to look like. Josh Jacobs is really good. But how is John Gruden going to use him? That's like, we don't know. And that unknown drops him to the third round. And you hope that there's minimal impact. And Josh Jacobs is great. Or... You're in split time hell. Josh Jacobs created 450 yards himself last season, which was fifth at the running back position. He created one and a half yards per touch, which was 17th overall. Kenyon Drake created 175 yards compared to Josh Jacobs. 450 which was 36th instead of uh what one and a half yards created per touch he created it half a yard per touch which was 54th like he's not as good he's simply not as good he you know what he had he had opportunity he was seventh in carries fourth in red zone touches and uh the cardinals ran the six most run plays per game last year like yeah some some of that was kyler murray scramble based right but to to your point i'm just saying the dude is he is not he's not overwhelmingly he's not i don't think he's on the same level as josh jacobs by any means no i agree with you i i think he really could be relegated to a complimentary you know give him a breather relief kind of role he could definitely that could easily be Drake's role. It's just everybody sees the stats and is like, oh my God, can you Drake? Can you Drake? But then if you actually look at his pure ability compared to Josh Jacobs and uh, compared to just thinking about his opportunity, because again, as you said and have said so many times, these guys are all professionals. They're all going to be able to produce to a certain degree given the right opportunity. Kenyon Drake has, has had a hell of a lot of opportunity. So he produced with it to a limited fashion. He was also really frustrating at times. So I'm just, I am not out on Josh Jacobs. I planted my flag last year and called him the absolute steal of every draft. Uh, I thought he could finish as a top six RB, finish as RB eight. I will take that as a dub. But, um, I do think that I am still high on Josh Jacobs. I think he is an extreme value at the end of the third and could easily finish as a low end running back one. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Just keep in mind, Kenyon Drake was signed to a two year deal with $11 million guaranteed. um, And that's not a small amount for running back. So they're definitely going to use him at least in some capacity. Uh, also Josh Jacobs, uh, over a thousand yards, uh, each of the first two years in the NFL. Um, and keep in mind, he's, he dealt with shoulder injuries that first year, um, seven touchdowns and 12 touchdowns. He's, uh, he's a great value at the end of round three. There's no doubt about it. And you just kind of, what, wherever the chips fall, they, they fall. Right. But even with Kanye and Drake last year, I think he was going like in the middle of the second round. And that was something where we're like, just stay away. There's no way I want anything to do with that. No. In the, sec- in the second round, of course, I would not touch Josh Jacobs. But in the third round, all right, now we're, now we're, we're dabbling a little bit. Absolutely. Whoa, didn't see you there. You can't sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry. I was just making some trades. How about you hit that subscribe button? I'll show you what it was. <laughs>